From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Vicki Yates. A fire destroys a warehouse with a long history in Cookville. The blaze broke out early this morning at the vacant building on South Depot Street. The building was at one time a factory for Wilson Sporting Goods. Cookville police say the front of the building collapsed during the fire and crews remain on the scene to monitor any hot spots. Metro Nashville council members will be taking up some big issues. They'll have their regular meeting at 630 tonight. On the agenda, a plan to limit short term rental properties is up for its final reading. It would keep people from renting out homes that they don't live in near churches, schools, daycares and parks. They'll also have a public hearing on a bill that would create rules for where parking lots can be built near stadiums or arenas. The plan would require anyone building a lot within 100 feet of a stadium to have a security plan that's approved by Metro Council. Council member Colby Sledge is introducing a bill that could make life easier for new parents. It would require changing tables to be installed in every public restroom in the city. Now let's check in with Henry and the weather. All right, Vicki, as we go through the day, make sure you've got a coat handy. We will see temperatures that actually climb into, for most of us, only the upper 40s. Here's a look at things on exact track. We'll put it into motion for you. And uh, again, a bit chilly out there. Some models want to squeeze a sprinkle out. I think the real story is going to be that mostly cloudy sky that we'll see across the Mid-South. 48 our high today, 55 tomorrow. Rain chances starting to pick up a bit by Friday. And then we've got a chance of thunderstorms as we head into Monday of next week. Stay warm and have a terrific Tuesday, folks.